Caleb. <laughs> We're here in Ann Arbor, Michigan at um, a tent city that uh, people came up with, Camp Take Notice. Um, tell me about it. Tell me about you and living here homeless in this tent city. Okay, that's a, that's a really super huge uh, question to run with, and so I'll, I'll leave it to you to pare it down. Uh, Camp Take Notice um, is uh, based on the model that I lived inside of when I was in Seattle, Tent City 3 and 4. Um, and while I was out there, I, I became, uh, I fell in love with what the tent community did for a population of people that don't usually have uh, a peer group, um, a friend network. And I had a family emergency bring me back from Seattle um, to Ann Arbor and decided to attempt, uh, two years ago, to attempt a tent community here in Ann Arbor based on the Seattle model, Seattle model pioneered by Scott Morrow and his friends. Now, um, how did you end up homeless in Seattle? Um, so, in my 20s, I was a paramedic, and my, my malfunction is major depressive disorder. Ended up losing uh, my job because of, uh, because of uh, absentee days, uh, because of the depression. And when I lost that job, I came, became uh, ashamed and embarrassed of my dependent uh, status. And I didn't want to be around friends or family uh, locally uh, in that condition. I didn't want people to see me that way. So I decided uh, that if I moved at a distance, I could be dysfunctional where nobody knew who I was. And so Seattle was just picked because it was a great distance away, and I thought that they might have some good bookstores out there. Mm -hmm. and, and you found community in a tent city. Yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, it's been one of the great surprises of my life to, to discover that uh, a group of people as broken and dysfunctional as the homeless can actually uh, come together and work on common issues. I, I would have never guessed that um, that people that are so uh, have so many different backgrounds could come together. So I was thrilled to to see that happen. Well, uh, for me, I I, uh, I find uh, homeless people, people living on the streets, have a lot more tolerance. Mm. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that. I, um, the more time I, I put into this, the more, um, the more I, um, the, the less I typecast people as one or the other. I, I see people with lots of tolerance and, and, oh. and others with their mental disabilities that, that yeah. keep them intolerant. So I, I think it's a pretty huge spectrum. But yes, there is, if you're down on your luck, you would hope that you would be more kind okay. to the larger population. Now, you're, you're the organizer of this tent city. And um, so, uh, you know, you don't allow uh, drugs, drinking. Uh, what are some of the other rules? I know tonight's cleanup night. Uh, what else goes on? How is this funded? How do you support people? How do you let people in? Give me some details on Camp Take Notice. Sure. So uh, the one thing that right now that we're attempting to do is encourage everyone to come to a weekly uh, weekly meeting that uh, allows us to air the week's dirty laundry uh, to talk about things that have come up uh, and to come to a group uh, consensus on how we want to deal with uh, the evolving issues. Um, of, you know, I think the the rules are, are pretty common to most uh, communities. Uh, don't don't injure each other. Uh, be quiet at night, um, and don't bring don't bring substance abuse issues uh, here. Um, what, what's the future like for, well, no, let me, what would you want America or the world to know about tent cities and homelessness? Um, I, I, I believe that for most people, uh, it's a, it's a, a tough to engage, uh, problem that, uh, many people, uh, see it and, and, and would like to help, but just, uh, are, are unaware of how or don't feel that don't feel comfortable taking those first steps. Um, so I, I try to encourage people who um, are interested in, the, in, the, in, in helping out to partner with somebody who's already uh, working with the homeless and, um, and take those first steps with somebody. Um, go ahead. No, that's, that's exactly it. As I always say, uh, is we need to do this together and um, you know, call your local homeless services and see where there's, there's need. And, um, so you, that's even in the tent city community you suggest that. Uh, right, very much. And uh, I, I, let's see, there's a thought that just escaped me. Sorry about that. Well, me too. Me too. It happens all the time. If you had three wishes, what would they be? 
Oh, yikes. Um, that's an unpleasant question. <laughs> Three wishes, what would they be? Um, you know, it, it sounds so inane, anything that would come to mind. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to answer that one on the spot. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Okay.